Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are troubleshooting a 2012 Kia Optima. Now this car is showing uh, symptoms of overheating. Now this is a common issue with Kias, but it's actually a quite of an easy fix. The first thing you want to do is I fire the car up and I turn on the AC. So I'm checking to see if the radiator fan kicks on. If the radiator fan kicks on, we know the fan works. But the Kias have a two-speed fan. So there's a sensor in here that controls the speed of the fan. If the fan is just moving but moving slowly, it is likely that that sensor has failed. I'm going to show you where the sensor is. Let's look at that. All right, so where is the sensor located? Well, there's this little shroud right here that covers the sensor. There are two bolts right here that have to be removed. Once those bolts are out of the way, we can pull this thing straight out. There we go. Okay, the sensor is going to be located behind the fan shroud. Let's take a look. Since I'm going to be working near the radiator fan, I'm going to be careful not to stick my fingers inside the fan shroud area. The sensor is located towards the right, right here. To disconnect the sensor, I simply depress on this connector and pull off. Same thing on this one, press on this little tab and then pull this off. After, there's a single screw that has to be removed. With the screw removed, it's just a matter of pulling this straight up. I like to inspect the connector on both sides. Uh -huh. Yep, this sensor is clearly burned. To reinstall the new sensor is basically the reverse of the removal. I'm going to slide it in here, push it down to lock it in place, and then I'm going to connect both of the plugs, the one on the left side until it clicks, and the one on the right side making sure it clicks in place. Now time to reinstall the bolt. I'm making sure not to over torque this as this is just plastic and I can easily strip this. Finally, the top part gets installed, just slide it into the intake, and then reinstall the two bolts. Just a couple last things on the fan control module. As you saw, my module was burnt on the inside, which means there's a possibility that the plug that goes from the car to the module could also be burned. So I like to inspect both of the, the plug that goes on this side and the plug that goes in here, and I just basically look at it and make sure that it's not melted or burned. If it's just a little bit brown, it can be cleaned off using a little wire brush and a little bit of the electronic uh, connector cleaner fluid. I'll put a link on the description if you're interested in getting some of this fluid. Now, here's the last thing about this module. It is sold in two different versions, and this is going to depend on whether the car was made in the US or whether it was made overseas, I believe in South Korea. Now, the way you can tell where the car was made is by opening up the driver's side door. There's going to be a label and it's going to say manufacturer in and that's how you know where it's made. I'll put a link on the description to both the module for the uh, South Korean cars and the module for the US cars. However, the most surest way to find out that that's going to be the right part to order is going to be to pull out this before ordering the part. If you pull it out, as I did, I was able to compare what I pulled out to the picture online and know for sure I was going to order the right part. Now, if I had ordered the incorrect part, it won't even fit. The connectors are different, so I can't really screw it up. But that's one thing to be aware of on these fan control modules. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys found it helpful, please make sure you thumbs up and consider subscribing to see more uh, videos on car repair like this. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.